Amen and good morning. Today is September 8th, 2023. Um, and I we just, oh my goodness, I wanted to get on yesterday, but I want to talk to you about a dream I had uh on September 7th, 2023, and it was about acceleration. I just want to, I want to impart acceleration to you. I want there to be an impartation of acceleration. Oh my goodness, first Jesus, we just thank you. We invite you here, Papa. We invite you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We invite you and we thank you, Lord. I just ask that you would have your way, Lord. You would have your way. You would have your way. Thank you, Jesus. In the spirit right now, I just see tumultuous, and it's crazy looking. The waves, they are going every which direction and crashing and breaking into each other. And they just, and then as that happens, there's more and more and more. And it looks like it's in a circle. So you might find yourself with these tumultuous uh, waves, but it looks like it's on every side that you're surrounded right now. Hallelujah. But I just thank you, Lord, that that. <laughs> I just see Jesus right now. Jesus, we just thank you. Jesus, Jesus is is literally, it would be impossible for any person. <laughs> Only Jesus could do this. I see him surfing straight through and it's not even, there's not even waves. I mean, there are waves, but they're not cohesive enough for him to just be surfing through. This is a supernatural move. Hallelujah. Lord, well, I just thank you right now for every supernatural move. Father, I just impart to your people right now a supernatural move, a supernatural breakthrough. Lord, I just thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I just, I I, I touch and agree and I release, <clears throat> I release that supernaturally by faith and through my life and through the, my partners, those who have partnered with this ministry, Lord. I just thank you, every person who's come underneath my the mentorship. Lord, I just thank you right now. I pray for every one of you, but I impart to you this supernatural move. I thank you, Lord, for acceleration. Hallelujah. I thank you for acceleration. There is there is acceleration here, and I know I've said this many times within <clears throat> within my. Um, within my mentor group, I, I know I've said this many times, but we are, and, and the thing, how this works, how, how, how it works when I'm saying something and it seems like I'm continuing to say it because there's a pioneering anointing in this ministry. A lot of times when I'm seeing things happening, it's things that have, things that have, are going to happen. It's so far, sometimes it could be really far in the future that I'm seeing it. But as he continues to repeat it and it's echoed and it's echoed and it's echoed, that means it's coming closer. Excuse me. <clears throat> but I have to say that um, on the 7th, on the 7th, I had so many dreams. They were back to back to back. It was all night. It seemed like I was up every hour. Every hour I was waking up with these dreams and and they were dreams about acceleration. I just, they were dreams about acceleration, acceleration, acceleration. I just knew, oh, it's an acceleration. It's an acceleration. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's an acceleration. We're moving faster than the speed of light, faster than the speed of sound. One of the dreams in particular that I had, um, I had a dream that I was seeing the Autobahn and you know, and it was clear. Here's the thing. I just knew it was the Autobahn. Ooh, the spirit of God. Lord, I just thank you. I can feel the fiery hand of the Lord upon my shoulder. Lord, I just thank you. I release your anointing to your people right now. I release your healing to your people right now, Lord. I just thank you. Hallelujah. I release every person who is, in, who is attached to me in this ministry, Lord. I release it to them. Thank you, Lord, in a full measure. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus and Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I could I feel their hands on my shoulder, one on my right, one on my left. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, the dream. I knew it was the Autobahn. I saw the Autobahn. I've never even seen the Autobahn. <laughs> but I saw the Autobahn. I knew it was, I knew that's what it was. And and I wasn't seeing it was a section of it. It was like 
laser pointed if i can if i can use that term it was a it was like if i could say pinpointed not that i wasn't seeing anybody else or anything else i was seeing the autobahn and 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 i saw a tractor get on the autobahn and a tractor meaning a farming tractor <clears throat> one that plants seeds oh it got on the autobahn and it was moving <laughs> it was going and I knew prophetically the Lord saying supernatural speeds, uh, seeds are being planted <clears throat> in a time of acceleration and they are going to grow fast, 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 fast. <clears throat> and it was, it wasn't a person just dropping seeds or far, farming equipment, which has the ability to do many at one time, many, 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 many lots at one time. Hallelujah. Something that we, would be humanly impossible for us to go in and, and do that and, and plant those in the time that the machine can do it. That's why they, that's partly why they made the machines. But I saw that and I knew he said that that season of planting and sowing, that it was excel, that it, he was accelerating it all. Accelerating. When you sow a seed, you're going to begin to see the fruit of that seed so much faster there's been times when i've sown seeds and it and 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 it'd be years upon years upon years before i ever reaped a fruit from it there's some seeds that i've sown and i still haven't reaped yet but i just believe the lord and his goodness hallelujah hallelujah the things like with you know with <clears throat> with uh with with fruit you know you you plant a fruit and and you know it could take you know it could take over a year for the this thing to begin to really start to take on the form of a of a sapling tree and then after that it's going to take another it, it might take another year before you know those roots really start to get established in there and etc cetera, etc cetera. and the the last thing that you ever get from a fruit tree is fruit and sometimes that fruit tree, you could do everything right with that fruit tree. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm just hearing a word of the Lord right now. I don't really have anything prepared. I'm just going by the Spirit. So I felt the need to get on and I'm, and I'm just trying to be obedient. But Holy Spirit is saying, you can do everything right with a fruit tree. Everything right. Let me tell you right now. You could do everything right with a fruit tree. You can plant it in, in the right season and just the perfect soil everything but unless it be fertilized by bees or unless it has another some fruit trees need another tree like it okay in order for it to begin to pollinate but unless it's <laughs> unless that happens sometimes you'll see flowers blooming on that tree but you still didn't get any fruit uh, that's actually happened to me in the natural i've had that happen to me in the natural um, we, I planted a cherry tree in my mother's house and, you know, and we, I mean, I planted that cherry tree before my daughter was even one years old. She will be, ooh, she's going to be in double digits here. And, <clears throat> and we, and for the longest, we had, I think at least for seven years, it had bloomed a couple of times and for seven years, it never gave a, a single a single fruit and then one year one year out of out of the blue when no one was expecting it hear me out no one was expecting when it was least expected because no one was looking at that that cherry tree to produce any cherries it had been seven years it produced cherries it produced cherries one one season it just did <laughs> oh hallelujah Jesus, so good. And you know what? It never produced another cherry after that. <laughs> but it was like, what? We couldn't believe it. We couldn't believe it. Oh, Lord, I just thank you. I just thank you. I knew that uh, I learned later on that that cherry tree actually needed another cherry tree. But back to the dreams, so that was a, an error on my, on my part. But God was so good that he still came. <laughs> He still gave me cherries from that tree. Thank you. Bless his name. <clears throat> um, and the other thing was the another part of the dream was after I had saw the tractor on there. Then shortly after that, I saw a tractor trailer, an 18-wheeler, however you want to call it. 
okay, get onto the Autobahn. And it was moving and I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew it was vindication. I knew it was vindication. I knew it was vindication for the truckers. I knew that that was coming. I was accelerating in this time right now. I knew that's what it was. Hallelujah. And I release acceleration over them. I release acceleration over, over your seeds and what you have planted. I release acceleration right now to you. Come on and touch and agree. You believe, you put your faith on it as well. You put your faith. Raise your expectation right now. Put your faith on it. Touch and agree, hallelujah. That it be done unto you. That it be done unto you in your life. Yes, Lord. Every seed that you have sown in prayers, hallelujah. Oh, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you that on every wave they receive more, more provision, more health. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for supernatural divine health. I impart it to your people right now. That they will walk in supernatural divine health. I loose all infirmity. Just, just come on. Let's say it together. Jesus, I choose to lose because we choose with our will to attach our agreement to anything, to anything. We have to agree to it. We have to agree to it. We have to agree to it. So we choose now to lose it. We no longer agree to sickness or infirmity of any kind, of any pain, of, of any kind. For every time we have said yes, we loose it now from our soul. We we turn away from it right now in the name of Jesus. Woo, thank you, Lord. Woo, my goodness. Whose third hand is that, Lord? There's a hand on my neck. Too. Hallelujah. It is hot. Lord, I thank you. The hand. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Who just flown in the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> You're right, Lord. I didn't say. It. He said, you said <laughs> it is fire Friday. You're right, Lord. Hallelujah. I never said that it was only contained to, <laughs> to just that uh, fire Fridays in the evening. Lord, I receive, I receive the fire of God. I release the fire of God to you. I release the fire of God right now to go forth in your life, through your veins and speak to your body. Body be made whole and healed right now in the name of Jesus. Every infirmity, you be corrected now by the fire of God. Ha, da, da, but the blood of Jesus already paid Everything in full. I release the fire. The fire, 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 fire. The fire of God consuming everything that is not of him. Going forth right now, right now, right now, right now. Go, go forth, remove, remove, burn up places that the enemy is, 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 is wanting to stay. That The fire drives out serpents. Fire drives out serpents. Fire dries out serpents in the natural and in the spirit. The spirit realm, you need holy fire. That holy fire dries out serpents. Burn, burn, burn and never return. Burn and never return. Every serpent, burn and never return. Remove off of them now. Remove off of them now. Remove off of them now. In the name of Jesus, burn and never return. I just saw snakes wrapped around someone's legs. I just unraveled that and threw them both into the fire. Burn at every return. Burn at every return. I received that for a friend of mine. I received that. I received that. Swollen legs, I command you. I command you now, all inflammation to go and the swelling to go down now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. That includes ankles and feet. Any area you find swelling. Jesus, I just thank you. Jesus, I just partner with you. I partner with you, Lord. Hallelujah. I partner with you. I partner with you, Holy Spirit. You, Holy Spirit, I partner with you. I partner with Papa God. I partner with your heavenly host. Hallelujah. I send forth your angels. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus is king. He 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 is king. Establishing kingdoms within the hearts of man. That is which why that that is which why I have come, says the Spirit of the Lord. And why I came. In this time, says the Spirit of the Lord, I am calling in my children. Come in, come in, says the Lord, come in, come in for the rains. Ho, ho, shamanamayada. The rains are going to pick up, says the Lord. The rains are going to pick up. And just as Noah and his family were called into the ark for a period, and the door was shut and closed behind him. Hear what I'm saying. The door was shut and closed behind him. Not that he shut and closed the door behind him. For it was my hand, says the Lord, that closed and held the door shut. For there is a time that is coming where I'm calling my children in. Come in close. Come in. It's time to come in. Do you not recognize the time? <clears throat> For even in the natural, those adhere to the street lights on come inside. As children, you saw street lights on, you knew it was time to come inside. Well, now see my light. See my light pouring out. <clears throat> from my lighthouses, it is time to come inside, says the Spirit of the Lord, for a great shutting in is upon you, says the Lord. A shutting in is upon you. It is coming upon you. Move by my spirit, says the Lord. Move by my spirit and do not be in fear, for I have never given you a spirit of fear. Oh, hallelujah. I have never given you a spirit of fear. I have never given you a spirit of fear, nor will I ever. Mm. But one of love, power, and a sound mind. Plan every trip with me. Send out the host before you go. Know what you're doing. I'm calling you in. Listen to me. I'm calling you inside in the spirit. There is a calling in, a shutting in. Come in, children, for the huddle. Do not distance yourself from one another, but come in and touch and agree on things in the spirit. There is a move. There is another move of my spirit in directions in which you do not know that I am going, but seek me for the direction and I will let you in on my secrets. Come close. I, de I desire intimacy with my people. I desire intimacy with my people. Come in, come close. Dig deep. Make room for me. Make room for me. There's so much clutter. Make room for me. Make room for me. Make room for me. Make room for me. I want every, every area of your life, not just a portion. Make room for me. 
Lightning storms, lightning storms, my power. You will begin to see my power operating in the natural realm. Because a bursting forth has happened. Oh, she Amanda Ha. There is a convergence of times and a converging of the realms, spirit realm, natural realm. You've never seen anything like it, but it was a time in which I was waiting for. Oh, yeah, before me. Come before me. I will not deny you, says the Lord. I will not deny you. I will not put you to shame. Ask and you shall receive. Take those words, literal. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Seek and you will find. Keys. Each of those keys that unlock things. Keys. I'm equipping you now as you believe me with these keys that will begin to unlock things in your lives that you never thought were possible. Keys. Keys. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your keys, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you, Lord. We honor your words. We honor your words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just hear the Lord saying, don't forget me in the busyness of the day. Ooh. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The time of acceleration is upon us. The time of acceleration. The time of unlocking. Hallelujah. Could we really expect anything less? We're part of the in crowd, right? We're... <laughs> we're we're in his, we run in his circle. And if you don't run in his circle, truly, because you're not intimate with him, but you really just know of him and you know of many prophetic words and you're just kind of hanging around for those things. Listen, he's inviting you in deeper and a deeper relationship with him, a deeper relationship. He's inviting you in. Hallelujah. If you would like to be connected to this ministry in any way, please just, um, Find us on Facebook. <clears throat> and if you need prayer, we would love to pray with you. Hallelujah. God is good. You can uh, reach out to us through Facebook or email at the Bell Tower Ministries at gmail.com. The Bell Tower Ministries at gmail.com. Oh, Lord, we just thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Come into the huddle. It's time. It is time. Hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for your spiritual shut in. That spiritual shut in. You know, he's, that's the thing that he said was a, a spiritual shut in. Hallelujah. Where he's, he's calling us in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I, and I said this before that once once that a big his big me mega move goes into place and all chaos and fear is gonna break out, you know it's that you know, I feel like a lot of times this part isn't talked about. But once, once the devil is on the run, the enemy is on the run, he's going to release mass fear, mass chaos, all that at one time. He's gonna all of that because that is who he is. And he he is fear. He operates in those things. He's going to release those things. So ways that that's going to come out and go forth. 
our job is to be called in and be inside and 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 and, and shut in with his spirit. You know, does that mean a physical shutting in of staying in your house? I he I have no clue. He did not just say that, but I don't know. Could it mean that as well? It could be. That is our job to press in and know him truly for ourselves, not for who other people say he is, not for, oh, but the prophet said this and that. No, that's, that's, that's good to hear that word. That's good from, 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 from his prophets. That's good. Obviously, I'm not talking bad about prophets because he's called me as one. But what I am saying is you need to know him personally intimately for yourself start start testing to hear him and if you have a prophetic and trusted um mentor or friend run those words by them and say you know are you getting a confirmation from this in the spirit on this start testing your own hearing it is very important and your own seeing it is very important Hallelujah, that you be able to hear and know him for yourself, because if we lose all communication, you're not going to be doing no smoke signals to try and hear from somebody. You got to be able to hear him and know him for yourself. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I know it's work. I know it's not just so easy. I just kind of want to sit at home and do this and listen to that and do it. I understand it's work, but it's, this is work for eternity. Amen. This is work for eternity. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we just thank you. We will be obedient to you. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing for acceleration <clears throat> and for your keys. Hallelujah for the kingdom. Amen and amen. <laughs>